Hey there, we are talking about types of persuasion and we've already taken a look at the questions of the types of speeches that you want to do. Now we have to look at what you're going to do. And persuasive speeches generally will either change an attitude, a belief, or a value. That's what you're trying to do. Uh, first, let's take a look at this. Attitudes means behave a certain way. Okay, if I'm trying to change your attitude, let's say you like chemistry, and I want to teach, I want to change that mindset. Like, no, you don't like chemistry, dude. There's no way. Okay, I'm going to try to change your attitude about chemistry in my persuasive speech. Beliefs are your convictions. They are your reality. They are what you know to be real and true to you, okay? Like the bus is going to pick you up every day at five. That is your reality. That is your truth. And lastly, values, what you feel, what is good to you, what is bad to you, what is right, what is wrong, what is moral, what is immoral. All right, and so you can see how these can kind of loosely tie into your questions questions of values, all right? They kind of go together, but you want to make sure that you have a plan of changing something. If you don't want to change something in your speech, then you want a call to action. And a call to action is I want to get you to do something. I want to get you to help clean the apartment. I want to get you to vote for me. I want to get you to do whatever it is, change a law, make a bed, whatever it is change an action. And law, uh, lawmakers, uh, politicians, they kind of cover all of these bases, but they usually end up requesting a call for action. So you want to make sure that you're doing one of those things, okay?